Welcome my friends. Just a short video today on the three Taoist internal alchemy meditative formulas. The three most fundamental formulas in the Tao through the Universal Healing Tao lineage set up by Taoist Master Montak Chia, through which I'm certified to teach this material. And those three fundamentals are inner smile, six healing sounds, and the microcosmic orbit. Uh, the inner smile, which if you just remembered one, that's it. Because uh, if I could sum it up, what I would say is that Qi flows where the mind goes. Very, just We know that, kind of understand on a visceral level and probably one of the most famous sayings in the Tao. Qi flows where the mind goes. The mind is directed by the senses. The senses are directed by the eyes. So our senses are always outside of ourself where they need to be to survive. But when it's time to like rest, recharge, bring your attention inward, we're normally stuck. We can't stop thinking about stuff outside of us. We're, we're always looking at you know advertising TV, all this stuff. That's what's getting our chi. So when you direct your eyes inward, and we direct with the left and right eye because it connects to the left and the right brain and balances the yin and the yang wherever you direct it, you can bring energy in, you know, like Chinese medicine, using herbs, using needles, those are great methods. But this is self-Chinese medicine. And the eyes are a very powerful tool to direct chi. Okay? So we're going to do a very quick inner smile to our five major internal organs. And this is how I'm linking this for you, just as super quick of the quick, as fast as I can make it. I'll do my best. Uh, of linking inner smile with six healing sounds, which is the second of the fundamental formulas, which is just a, a single sound that you, it's a whispered sound to release any tension uh, in your organs, which generally manifests as emotions, which according to the Tao and Chinese medicine that came from it, is the number one cause of disease. So you uh, smile into the organ, you breathe uh, into it, and you release a healing sound, which releases those elemental imbalances uh, that set up the stage for negative emotions, okay? Uh, so the five major inter internal organs, plus the triple warmer, which for purposes of internal alchemy, head, heart, and belly, uh, is the sixth one, just kind of like the whole whole torso in one, so to speak. Okay, so that's the six healing sounds. And then the microcosmic orbit are the two main meridians in Chinese medicine, the two main yin-yang, fire-water meridians. Fire channel runs from perineum up the spine over the top of the head to the soft palate. Water channel up the front of the body uh, to the tongue and touching the tongue to the roof of the mouth links them. So it allows all the energy to rise up the spine and all the chakras up to the brain and then down the front through the biochemical counterparts of the chakras, which are the seven endocrine glands for the seven chakras and so forth. So you can see fire channel, chakra, what does that mean? Wheel of light, light is subtle expression of fire and then front channel, yin, water, the glands, the you know liquid light of the you know biochemistry of the glands, which every feeling we have is dictated by a chemical. So this is very powerful. We could spend a lot of time, and indeed I have, and many masters have, on each of these formulas, but I'm going to do my best to just like give it to you fast and as quick as possible. All right? So you can get through all three and start cultivating your internal practice. Uh, in general, with uh, a lot of yogic systems, and certainly Taoist, because it's so focused on energy, we do a little bit of what's known bellows breathing, where you just kind of do a rapid belly breath to build up some energy so you have enough energy to sit and be present. Okay, so we'll just do that and we'll go right into the three fundamentals of Taoist internal alchemy, inner smile sounds and microcosmic orbit. Go ahead and exhale uh, in any comfortable sitting position. In the Tao we generally sit with our feet on the ground, so K1, first point of the kidney meridian below the ball of the foot is on the ground because it's considered according to the Tao most rooted point of the body, so you're grounded, but uh, you can sit in any comfortable position you like. Go ahead and exhale all the way through your mouth just to clear the lungs. And then just a gentle bellows breath. Your belly just expands as you inhale, flattens as you exhale, and you just kind of pulse it and build up a little chi in the lower cauldron or your belly center. See how my belly's moving like that? Focus on the exhale, body will naturally inhale what it needs. Like you're stoking a hot coal each breath. It's getting warmer and more energy building up, like a little pearl in your belly. And exhale all the way. 
then through K1, take a deep belly breath from the center of the earth to the center of, we call the lower cauldron, your center of gravity, the lower dantian. Deep belly breath. And hold your breath, and if you want to add a little root power, gently tighten your perineum. So like all the root, you know, we call kundalini and yoga, that core energy can rise from there, okay? You hold your breath for as long as you can. Everything slows down, your heart rate, your thought rate. Spaces between the breath are very important. And then whenever you're ready, relax perineum contraction. If you've been tightening it, we call perineum power in the Tao. Mula Bandha and yoga, relax that and exhale. Even that's a great little one, two, just boom, get your energy going, okay? Bellows breath. Now we'll go ahead and begin our uh, practice, our internal alchemy practice. Inner smile combined with six healing sounds. And then we'll do the orbit real quick just to circulate that energy. So go ahead and rub your hands together. A little friction. We usually bring our hands together in uh, what we call prayer pose or balancing mudra because just like bringing the left and right eyes together, you bring the left and right hands together. Uh, it, it, it connects a lot of meridians and kind of helps you balance your energy. Okay. And a lot of times within our smile, in the beginning anyway, we'll like visualize a beautiful place like the one I'm in, or a beautiful person, or something that makes you smile. You just kind of visualize it right in front of your face, and you just bring that energy into your eyes, brain, and to all your organs and stuff. Um, so go ahead and you can do that, or you can just have an intention, of just smiling for the sake of smiling. When we smile to everybody, what happens? You get energy. When you smile inward, it also gets the chi. So I have no problem smiling to myself. I love <laughs> my body. I mean, you know, it gets the chi. This is how we're directing the energy. So bring a smile to your eyes. You can smile physically if it helps. Or it's, it's really in the eyes, though. The eyes direct the senses. And when you feel that smiling energy in your eyes, direct it to the center of your brain. Left right eye back to the left and right brain. Equal and balanced in the center of the brain and down into your heart. When in doubt, smile into your heart. The emperor of the organs. When the emperor is happy, the whole kingdom is happy. When the heart is happy, all your organs are happy. Okay? Smile into your heart. Just love your heart. I mean, it's just so simple. I love my heart. Thank you for beating and keeping my energy going. Allowing me to feel and sense my world that I'm living in. Breathe deeply. This is where we'll now do the six healing sounds. Breathe deeply into your heart, the red light. And hold just a moment. Feel your heart absorbing the red light. And the H-A-W sound. We exhale. Ah. Releasing any tension in your heart. Like black smoke coming out of your mouth, dropping down to the pull of gravity, to the center of the earth where it can be safely transformed. The earth is a great transformer and composter. So we use this to help kind of dissolve our negative emotions, as I said, making room for fresh energy. So the organs go in the same cycle, the creation cycle, as the uh, seasons. So heart is summer, Indian summer, spleen, just below the left breast. Drop your eyes, your mind, your awareness, and your breath into your spleen. Connected your attention to your spleen, breathe deeply into your spleen, the yellow light. And hold for just a moment, letting your body and your spleen absorb the yellow light, and exhale the ho sound, H O. Oh. Releasing any tension that may be there, just release it, relax, let it go. Most of our suffering comes out of resistance. You just relax, let it go to the pull of gravity. Okay? Fire, element in the heart, summer, right? Maximum yang. Indian summer, spleen. So after the spleen comes the lungs. Spleen is Indian summer, lungs of the fall. Drop your eyes, your mind, your awareness into your lungs and we feel your attention there. Breathe deeply into your lungs, the white light. And hold just a moment, absorbing the white light into your lungs. And exhale the S sound. Relax and let go. They say if you know just one healing sound, do the lungs because it's the one organ with the most direct connection to the external world and uh, thus very much uh, tied to detoxification. So you can just do a bunch of lung sounds if you're detoxing from something or bad air or something, go outside, nice place, and just do a bunch of S sounds after you vacuum or something. Okay. After the fall comes the winter, kidneys, water element, blue light. 
smile into your kidneys, drop your eyes, your mind, and you're listening into your kidneys. So much healing comes just out of the listening. That's a big part of the inner smile. You're just listening, just noticing. What does that organ feel like? So much healing comes out of the listening power. Listening into your kidneys. When you feel your attention in your kidneys, breathe into your kidneys, the blue light. <clears throat> Smiling, and relaxing, any tension that might be there with the chew sound, C-H-U. <sighs> All the sounds are whispered, so we go internal, okay? Almost there. After winter comes spring. Largest of the major internal organs, uh, liver. Underneath the right breast, caddy cornered in the spleen, underneath the left. Right underneath the right breast, you've got the liver, green light. Connect your eyes, your mind, your awareness into your liver. Take a deep breath, green light into your liver. And hold just a moment, absorbing the green light and the SH sound. Exhale and release any tension from your liver like black smoke down to the earth. Ah, and relax your liver. They all have an emotion, as I said. Liver is anger. So if you ever feel angry, which is one of the most destructive emotions we have, just do a bunch of SH sounds. Release it, relax it, let it go. All right? So those are the five major internal organs. The sixth healing sound is for the triple warmer, which again, for purposes of internal alchemy, is our head, heart, and belly. So just smile into your head, love your thoughts, smile into your heart, love your feelings, smile into your belly, love your body, because that's how manifestation works. Whatever you think about, you feel, and you keep thinking and feeling about that, that vibration will manifest into embodiment. So when you love and have happy thoughts, feelings, you'll have a loving and happy body. And we usually use clear light. So once you feel like you just smile into your three cauldrons, happy head, happy heart, happy belly, breathe deeply up from the earth, clear light, and release any residual tension we didn't get with the previous five healing sounds with the he sound. There it is, inner smile with the six healing sounds. You just smile to each organ uh, using the sounds and then the triple warmer with the he sound, okay? Now real quick, real quick, just to circulate this, cover your belly and feel all the energy that we've smiled to. The energy in our heart, our spleen, our lungs, our kidneys, our liver, our three cauldrons, every cell. Feel that energy spiraling, because all chi in the known universe spirals. Okay. Smallest clusters of atoms, largest cluster of galaxies, it's all spiraling. So that's the language of energy. Qigong means language of energy uh, as one definition. So take all the energy in your body, all your thoughts, all your feelings, all the energy in your body. Let it spiral into a single pearl. You can even spiral your hand. Let it spiral, 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 and wrap into a pearl, wrap into a pearl, wrap into a pearl. And, once you, and this is your lower dantian, by the way. So it's midway between your navel and your uh, door of life, which is the point in your spine opposite your navel, and your perineum, where you feel the energy the strongest. I call this triangulating your dantian, because it's a little ambiguous where exactly it is. It's between your navel and your ming men in the middle of the body. Ming men is the Chinese word for door of life. And your perineum, where you feel it the strongest. So in that region, where you feel it the strongest, spiral all your energy into a pearl, and once you feel that, and again, I'm moving quickly, you can take your time on your own practice to actually feel it, allow the pearl to begin spiraling. I'm going to teach you very briefly what is arguably the most powerful method of doing the microcosmic orbit, which is called the spinning ball. You spiral all the energy in your body into a single pearl in your belly, and uh, where you feel it the strongest, as I said, and then let that pearl to begin spiraling. Just like if you were to roll a pearl down a hill, it would spiral down the front, up the back. That's the regular flow of the orbit. The energy goes down the front, up the back. You just let it spiral in your, in your lower cauldron, from your navel down to your perineum, from your uh, perineum up to the door of life, and back down to your perineum, because it's kind of like an expanded pearl. So just the pearl spiraling opens up what's known as the lower orbit, which in the ancient world, you just had to spiral it there until you felt it would naturally overflow to the whole orbit. But we'll go ahead and just do the full method just so you know what that looks like. Drop your eyes, your mind, your heart, your breath, and the totality of your awareness into the nucleus of the pearl, like the eye of the storm, the still point at the center of the pearl that's spiraling in your lower cauldron. You feel the pearl spiraling up the back and down the front, and you're going to bring it from your center of gravity, your lower cauldron, your lower dantian, 
down to your perineum. All right, just let it spiral straight down. You can let it spiral there a moment, very grounded point, okay? And that's the point pretty much from which all your chakras and all your meridians are originating, not just the microcosmic orbit, but it's pretty much the root point for the whole system. So very powerful, just spiraling the pearl right there, all right? Even if you just don't math in this whole video, it's, uh, it's worth it for you and your ancestors. So you just go ahead and spiral that to your perineum, and once you can feel that, we'll, again, we're going to do this quickly. Go ahead and take a deep breath and let the pearl spiral from your perineum up your spine to your brain, up to your crown, and then keep your tongue to the roof of the mouth so the orbit's connected, and then exhale and let the pearl spiral from your crown down the front of your body back to your perineum. And we'll just do that a few rounds. Inhale, the pearl spiraling slowly up the spine, mixing all the chi uh, and all your vertebrae and innervating the whole nervous system that the <laughs> vertebrae is pretty much the center of all the way up to the brain, innervating your brain, and exhale, and let the pearl spiral innervating all your glands, and all the chemistry, and the, you know, the immunity of the thymus, and the power of the adrenals, and so forth. You just let it innervate that, and just go into that undulation, of just inhaling the spiraling pearl up your spine to your brain, and exhaling from your brain down the front of your body back to your perineum. Long, effortless belly breath. And as the pearl spirals, your eyes and your mind, your heart and your awareness are connected effortlessly to the nucleus of the pearl as it spirals, which is a still point, like the eye of a wheel or a storm. So there's a perfect balance of stillness and movement. The more of that still point you can hold, the more movement and ultimately chi you can also hold, because you're centered and you're still and grounded in the center around which the pearl can spiral faster and faster. And once you breathe it a few times, inhaling up the spine, exhaling down the front, just let it go by itself. Just relax your breath and just notice where it goes. Because sometimes the pearl will spiral so fast you'll just see it as like a continuous loop of energy. Just notice that. How does that feel? Okay, spiraling around the orbit at a speed that's appropriate for you now as dictated by inner authority in the Tao we call inner sage, the yoga inner guru, okay, the uh, proverbial god within, or the, or the guru, the teacher within, okay, because of God or whatever you call that, creative force is everywhere, it must also be within me. So just feel the pearl spiraling. Now, we're not going to go over this now, but I'm just going to mention it for your own practice. First of all, there is one contraindication that needs to be uh, addressed with the spinning ball method. Um, you, can, you can stop it anywhere you want in your body. Perineum for grounding, uh, crown for you know more chi, maximum yang, right? Heat rises, you can do that. I do caution men with that, though, because you're already a little bit uh, yang, so I generally do a lot more at the perineum. Um, you can do anywhere you want. Anywhere you're tense in your neck, spile it there, except the heart. The heart is fire element, already fiery, and thus this spiraling method's a little bit of too much electromagnetism for the heart. Uh, it probably won't hurt you. I mean, you can spiral it through the heart or whatever, but that's just what they teach at Wudong. Don't stop at the heart. So you can stop this pearl anywhere you want. Your throat, open up your communication, your solar plexus, your power, uh, your Ming Men, you know, door of life, point in the spine opposite the navel, innervate your kidneys and all of the vital energy that that you know governs anywhere you want the sacrum your low immunity sacrum governs your bones and uh, the production of red and, red and white blood cells you know and all your sexual energy and everything you can just spiral it right at your sacrum wherever you need it perineum I would say in general I spend a lot of time there because that again overflows to the whole meridian system you can but you don't stop at the heart which means the sternum or the back of the heart you can go through it and let it dissolve any emotional tension that might be there you slowly spiral the pearl down your perine uh, your sternum I mean uh, and just kind of dissolving any negative feelings that might be there, making room for fresh energy, okay? Because uh, the pearl is a powerful tool for dissolving tension, but uh, we don't stop there and just spin, spin, spin. You'll probably overheat because the heart's already fire, okay? So whether you just inhale up the spine, exhale down the front, or just let the pearl go at hyperspeed by itself around the orbit, or, and or, you're stopping it at specific points, which is frankly the reason I love this method more than anything, because the orbit's a long highway. You know, sometimes the energy can get so dispersed, but you can really stop it along each point with the spinning ball method. Regardless, this is the uh, professional way to uh, conclude the spinning ball method of the orbit. Make one more complete loop wherever you are right now in the orbit, from the perineum up the spine to the crown, and 
from the crown down the front of your body, tongue touching the roof of your mouth to your perineum, and then from the perineum up the spine one more time to the crown. And now what we're going to do to collect the energy is we're going to spiral down the core channel called Chiang Mai in Chinese medicine. Uh, back channel's fire, perineum up the spine. Front channel's water, perineum up the endocrine glands up the front. But the central channel from perineum straight up to the crown is earth. And that's neutral. Back channel's hot, front channel's cold, right? Fire, water, earth channel's neutral. This is getting a little advanced. I wasn't even planning on going this far, but uh, that governs spleen, stomach, pancreas, earth element. Remember, earth, spleen, yellow. We till the earth with a hoe. That's why the hoe sound, right? Digestion. So it's not about this energy we're getting. Go and get the energy, spin, get the energy. It's what you digest. We want to embody this energy uh, fully. So that's why we're going to uh, conclude in this way. You just feel the pearl spiraling right at the top of your crown. And slowly let it spiral down from the tip of your head down through the center of your brain, dissolving and absorbing any thoughts that might be there, positive or negative, doesn't matter. We just want the chi. Let your thinking power become part of the pearl, slowly spiraling down through your throat, slowly spiraling down through your heart, dissolving any positive or negative feelings that might be there. It doesn't matter, positive or negative. We just want the chi. So let any feelings you have right now whatsoever, not resisting at all, offering them to the pearl as it spirals down the central channel through your heart, down through your solar plexus, and down into the center of your effortlessly breathing belly, where you feel the energy the strongest. And you let the pearl spiral there, and spiral there, and let it spin and let it spin until it spirals so fast that it appears still. And smile once again to the still point of that spiral. Drop your eyes, your mind, your heart, your awareness, and you allow the pearl to spiral so fast that it appears still, and in the nucleus of the pearl, collect your energy. And you can simply just command it to stay there, because we always conclude meditation in the Tao, and it should be every meditation as far as the Tao is concerned, uh, in the belly, because that's where you digest things and carry it with you. Uh, you can just tell it to stay there, or you can spiral it, like wrapping a ball of yarn, basically you let the pearl just spiral itself into stillness, okay? And you just feel it. Just smile into the nucleus of the pearl and this sense of power and tranquility uh, we can call upon anytime, anywhere. You can return to it anytime throughout the day. You get low energy, whatever. You just do a little bellows breathing and just smile into your dantian. And that energy is there. That's why we always collect here because it's always there for you and it'll get stronger each time. So, my friends, thank you for your attention span. I did my very best to condense three very powerful practices into one quick practice and you could use any part of this separately. If one last little sound bite I just want to say on the inner smile. When in doubt, smile into your heart because there's a lot of powerful methods like this and many, many others and uh, a lot of the practices just happen automatically when you just smile into your heart. The, I really like the, the research HeartMath did, if you're familiar with HeartMath. The electromagnetic field created by the heart is so many thousand times stronger than the brain. It's ridiculous. It's like beyond, beyond. So just smile into your heart and all of the auric building and all this like, you know, energy a type of work, it'll happen, you know, by itself. So when in doubt, smile into your heart, and especially in the face of whatever, you fear and things that are happening around you, you don't know, vibrational shifts, whatever, we hear a lot of rumors, 2012 and beyond, you just, you just don't know. There's more about this universe and this earth and, and, and our bodies and every aspect of consciousness. There's way more that we don't know than we know. It's called the great mystery. Right? We just don't know. So the things happen that you don't know. There's this innate fear or whatever. Just smile into your heart. Where there is love, there can be no fear. It's so simple. So from my heart to yours, my friends, I greatly appreciate your attention span to tune in to this uh, video and these teachings. And they're very powerful. And I think you'll get a lot of benefit. I do them every day and I have for over a decade. Well over. I'm over 12 years now, actually. And each time it's different. Smile into your heart. Carry it with you. Friends, practice well.